Why is it so hard to enact campaign finance reform? Well, Congress is the one that's usually passing the rules. Imagine a classroom filled with seven-year-olds and you give them a big bucket of candy and you say, okay guys, you've got to figure out the rules that govern the way that this candy is going to be distributed to all of you. Well, you're probably going to have one of two things happen. Either you're going to have rank sugar-fueled chaos or you're going to have total inaction and they don't know what to do. Congress is sort of like that. In a way, they don't want to rock the boat because they don't want to give the guys on the other side of the aisle any type of advantage. And certainly the opposite is true on the other side of the aisle. So you have sort of this equilibrium for all intents and purposes where nobody is doing anything too radical, too drastic to change the way that the rules of the game are played. You do have some notable examples of that not being the case. Probably the most notable would be the 2002 McCain-Feingold Act. That passed and did change a lot of the rules in which campaign finance systems were run here in the United States. Then, of course, you have a lot of action at the court level, most notably in 2010 when the Supreme Court ruled in the Citizens United versus Federal Election Commission case that independent organizations, that corporations, unions, other special interests could spend and raise unlimited sums of money in order to support or to oppose various candidates. But at the end of the day, you don't have major, major sea changes that are coming out of Congress, although you do have a system that every couple of years will be tweaked, will be moved, will be pushed one direction or the other, but public financing, other major, major drastic changes that would oftentimes take congressional approval uh, are something that don't really seem to be in the cards these days.